Bwana Yesu asifiwe. <coughs> Praise the living God. Jina langu ni Prophet Jeremiah Mwisaka or you can also call me JQ Benai. So Napenda ni kualike katika ibada ya siku ya leo. Najua kwamba Mungu anaenda kukuhudumia popote pale ulipo in the name of Jesus. Just allow me to open through a word of prayer and I believe God is going to minister to you through his word in Jesus name. Father in the name of Jesus. Nakuja mbele zako Yesu nikisema ni asante siku ya leo. Baba ninasema ni asante majira haya dakika hii katika jina la Yesu. Babu umepeana kibaya, umepeana afya njema. Babu umepeana ushindi. Baba umepeana mamlaka. Baba ukapeana na hekma. Yesu Kristo nitakosa vipi kukushukuru? Asante. Na kuomba Yesu ukaachilia basi mamlaka, injili yako ikafungue mtu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Neno lako likaponye mtu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Na baba ukapate kufungua maisha ya mtu kutoka katika minyororo ya giza in Jesus name. Baba neno lako likafanyike chanzo cha wokovu kwa maisha ya mtu popote pale alipo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba nioshe ukanitumie kama chombo chako kwa ajili ya utukufu wa jina lako. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimeomba hata na kuamini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah, niruhusu niweze kukupatia injili siku ya leo ambayo ni injili ya kukuinua, injili ya kukubariki na vile vile ni injili ya kukufanya wewe ujitambue nani katika ulimwengu wa roho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hiyo moja kwa moja ni ruhusu niweze kuingia katika maandiko Aa, na tusome pamoja na wewe katika kitabu cha uamuzi. Eh, kwa kizungu uamuzi ni Judges. So the book of Judges chapter 6. Uh, praise God. Judges chapter 6 from verse 11 to 13. So uamuzi 6 11 hadi 13. Basi nitakisoma kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Kidioni Oh, kwanza kwa moja sorry. Malaika wa Bwana akaenda akaketi chini ya mwaloni uliokuwa katika ofra. Praise God. Uliokuwa mali yake Yoashi mwabierezi na mwanawe Gideoni alikuwa akipepeta ngano ndani ya shinikizo ili kuificha machoni pa wamidiani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. mbili Malaika wa Bwana akamtokea akamwambia, Bwana yu pamoja nawe, e shujaa. tatu Kidioni akamwambia, "E hey, bwana wangu, ikiwa bwana yu pamoja nasi, mbona mambo haya yote yametupata? Yako wapi matendo yake ya ajabu waliotuhaidia uh, baba zetu wakisema, "Je, siye bwana aliyetuleta huku kutoka Misri ila sasa ametutupa? Naye ametutia katika mikono ya wamidiani." Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sikiza mtu wa Mungu, huyu alikuwa ni Gideoni. Na tunamwona Gideoni alikuwa akipura ngano akipepeta ngano ili aifiche Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa sababu walikuwa wanateswa Waisraeli wa wakati walikuwa katika utumwa walikuwa ni kama mateka walikuwa wame, wa, they were slaves so Gideon alikuwa ana, anatengeneza chakula ili akifiche Bwana Yesu asifiwe so katika ile harakati malaika wa Mungu akatokezea pale akaketi akawa anamtazama Gideoni vile anafanya Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So akamuita Gideoni ewe shujaa. Haleluya. So Gideoni alipoitwa akaambiwa kwamba yeye ni shujaa, jambo la kwanza alishangaa. Sasa mimi ni shujaa vipi? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi ni shujaa vipi kwa njia ipi? Kwa hali ipi? Na kwa 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 kwa, kwa mkataba upi mimi naitwa shujaa? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So Gideoni alijiona ni duni kwa sababu alikuwa anajificha. Haleluya ile chakula alikuwa anaifadhi ili aifiche Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sisi kama tunapata kitu hapo. Kando na kwamba adui zake alikuwa anawatawala, yani kando na kwamba adui zao walikuwa wanawatawala, kulikuwa na adui mkubwa vile vile aliyekuwa akiwatawala ambaye ni hofu, uoga, fear. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So ndio bana unaona kwamba hata malaika wa Bwana alipomtokea Gideoni hakuweza kutambua kwa haraka kwamba huyu ni malaika wa Bwana kwa sababu alikuwa na uoga. And this is the mistake ambayo inakula wakristo wengi. Wakristo wamefika kiwango wanakosa kutambua nguvu za Mungu, wanaanza kutambua nguvu ya giza. Kiwango cha kwamba hata ukianza kuomba usikie bati limeguswa, utajua kabisa hao ni wachawi wamenikujia. Yaani unaona kwamba mchawi ana nguvu kuliko Mungu wako. 
unaona kwamba sijui devotion hana nguvu kuliko Mungu wako Bwana Yesu asifiwe this is the problem ambayo inakula wakristo wengi siku hizi haleluya so the angel of god appeared to gideon and he told gideon that you are a warrior Bwana Yesu asifiwe huo wakati gideon yeye yeah, alikuwa anashangaa ana, 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 ana anangangana kwa ajili ya kesho huo wakati gideon alikuwa anapambana kwa ajili ya kesho lakini mungu akaamua wacha ajireveal kwa mtumishi wake gideon ili apate kujua yeye ni nani Okay, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm talking to a warrior hapo uh, ambapo ulipo. Mimi ninaongea na shujaa hapo ambapo ulipo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Huo ugonjwa ambao uko katika system yako, it could be umekutesa kwa muda mwingi but today, but today you must know that you are a warrior. You are not supposed to be a warrior, but you are supposed to be a warrior. So from today henceforth you are supposed to be a warrior in Christ and you are not supposed to be a warrior. Ah, sio kama kuna kitu ninaongea. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So Gideon akawa anaogopa, ana hofu. Alikuwa anaogopa wale ambao walikuwa wanawatesa, wale ambao walikuwa wanawatawala, akawa na hofu kiasi cha kutotambua hata wepo wa Mungu ulio karibu yake. I don't know who I'm talking to mashida zimekutesa wachawi wanakuloga waganga majini uchafu wote wao wagiza mpaka unafika kiwango unaanza kuogopa hata Mungu akikuita unakosa kujua kama huyu ni Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe neema ya Mungu ikikushukia unakosa kutambua kwa waraka kwa sababu uoga umekutawala oh my god i am talking to somebody in the name of Jesus you need to get out of that bed in Jesus name Bwana Yesu asifiwe And that is why naomba tusome kitabu cha Mathayo 6:34 tupate kuona uh, 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 fundisho fulani hapa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mathayo 6:34. Let us read the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 34 in Jesus name. Matthew chapter 6 verse 34. The Bible says, Basi msisumbukie ya kesho kwa kuwa kesho itajisumbukia yenyewe. Yatosha kwa siku maovu yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Msijisumbue kwa ajili ya kesho, ya tosha siku moja. Mungu atawasumbukia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Take a look at the, the birds of the air. Hmm? Take a look at the creatures of the sea. Take a look at the creatures that are walking above the, the, the ground. They don't struggle to get what they want because they, are, they know that there is their ultimate provider and who is the almighty God. Simba hakosi chakula kila siku. Nyani hakosi chakula. Tumbiri hakosi chakula. Kuku hakosi chakula. Mnyoo hakosi chakula. Mnyoo ameajiriwa kwa idara gani? Eh? Hivi viumbe havilipi rent lakini vinaishi. Sika tunapata hatuna tunaelewana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yes, mtumishi wa Mungu sasa okay basi ninamwamini Mungu sasa rent nani atanilipia kama kila santa mtafuta tafuta Mungu. Hapo ndio tatizo lilipo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unaambiwa he is a god of order. This means and that is why yeye si akuwa na upungufu wa akili katika kitabu cha ma, uh, uh, ma, matendo. Haleluya. Hiyo ma, uh, not matendo but matayo 6:33 akisema utafuteni ufalme wa Mungu na hayo mengine yote utaongezewa. You know it is this way. Hauwezi tambua ule uwezo ambao Mungu amekupea paka uweze kukubali Kristo akufungue macho. Haleluya. Gideon alikuwa anajiona yeye ni mtuduni. Gideon alikuwa anajiona yeye ni mtu hafifu, asiyefaa. Lakini Mungu alikuwa ameona ule ushujaa wake. And that is why akamwambia vipi? Wewe ni shujaa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And now after yeye alipokubali sasa kutembea na Mungu ushujaa wake ndio ulianza kuonekana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I am talking to a very successful business person out there ambaye sasa unajiona wewe ni duni. I am talking to a professional doctor out there ambaye unajiona wewe ni mtu wafifu. I am talking to a big entrepreneur out there ambaye unajiona wewe hausitahili. I am talking to a very very 
prominent person a public figure out there ni vile tu wewe unajiona ni duni lakini hiyo si akili yako ni akili ambayo shetani ameibuni ndani yako ili usione utukufu wa Mungu ili usione wema wa Bwana Bwana Yesu asifiwe sasa mtumishi wa Mungu nitafanya vipi nitakupatia mwelekeo katika jina la Yesu Kristo haleluya So you are supposed to know that in Christ we win battles in Christ we overcome in Christ we succeed in Christ marate ke shedeli babasika brande shikete in Christ we are victorious and this is what the bible says the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 let us read it kitabu cha wa Korinto wa kwanza 15:57 Shate palakiza brando shikatayaka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wa Korinto wa kwanza 15:57. Wa Korinto wa kwanza 15:57. Maandiko yanasema hivi. Nitakisoma. Lakini Mungu na ashukuriwe atupae kushinda kwa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Lakini Mungu ashukuriwe atupae kushinda kwa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Lakini Mungu ashukuriwe atupae kushinda kwa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. So atupae kushinda si mwingine bali ni Mungu, si miungu ya kwetu. Miungu ya kwetu hushindwa na nguvu ya Mungu wale hai. Mizuka ya mababu haina nguvu mbele za Mungu wa majeshi aliye hai. Mizimu ya ukoo haina nguvu mbele ya nguvu za Mungu wa majeshi aliye hai. Roho siju ya nyanya ya babu ya nani ya nani haina nguvu kuliko roho wa Mungu aliye hai. That is why roho wa Mungu aliposhuka juu ya Samsoni. Samsoni akachukua taya ya punda, akaona wanajeshi alfu moja wa Wafilisti sikitu. Roho wa Bwana akampatia nguvu. Roho wa Bwana akawaangamiza wanajeshi wale kupitia taya ya punda iliyokuwa katika mikono ya Samsoni. It is this way. Our God is very powerful. He is every in every situation he is powerful. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And that is why akasema, yoyote aniaminie. Yoyote anayenikubali, nitampatia nguvu na uwezo. Yale ambayo mimi nimeyafanya, ataweza kuyafanya zaidi ya hai. So suppose watu milioni moja wamemwamini Yesu na wamemkubali. Si anawapatia hiyo power. So this man if he can if he can uh, If he can I don't know what to say I don't know how to put this way eh? if he can implant his power in more than million people in more than trillion people in more than zillion people and he is not powerless yet then this man is very powerful he is very powerful I tell you Bwana Yesu asifiwe so Yesu ndiye anaitupea kushinda wengine unajiona wewe ni mtu duni Unaona hakuna kitu kizuri kinaweza kutoka ndani yako. Unaona hakuna baraka inayoweza kutoka ndani yako. Unaona hakuna chochote cha maana kinachoweza kupatikana kwako. Nimekuja kukugeuza mtazamo wako. Nianze kukupatia akili hii. Akili hii ni hii ya kwamba Yesu hashindwi na chochote. Anaweza kuingilia kati katika jaribu lako, akakuokoa, akakuheshimisha. Yesu anaweza kuingilia kati katika ugonjwa wako, akaachilia uponyaji. Yesu anaweza kuingilia kati katika changamoto zako, akakupatia tumaini. He is a God who is very very hard to explain. Yaani mambo yake hayaelezeki, njia zake hazichunguziki, mawazo yake hayatazamiki. Sisi tunaweza sema huyu afai, lakini Mungu akawa amefaa kwake. Sisi tunaweza sema hiki akistahili, lakini mbele za Mungu kikawa kinastahili. Ni Mungu asiyechunguzika. Ndio maana alipokuwa akimona Paulo akilitesa kanisa, that time he used to be called so. Na yeye alikuwa anajua this man will be used highly with my Holy Spirit kiwango cha kwamba ataleta wengi katika ufalme wa muda wake ukifika ni tamkombo so time will tell praise god time will tell mimi huwa napenda hivi wakati mtu anakuambishani sana wa injili wakati mtu anakuambishani sana wa mambo ya utukufu wa Mungu time will tell pray for that person pray for that person be patient with god he is a god of order anajua mali ambapo atamchuni anajua ni siku ipi atakamgeuza bwana yesu asifiwe 
He is a God of order. Hallelujah. And that is why Mubiri akasema kuna muda wa kila kitu ya chini ya mbingu. So ilikuwa ni muda wa Gideoni kuonyeshwa ushuja wake uko wapi. Hallelujah. So kama Gideoni aliyekuwa mtu duni ambaye alikuwa anajiona afai, alikuwa anaficha chakula, tena ni jasho yako unaificha. Ah, my father, my God. Nyumba ni yako wewe. Umejenga kwa jasho yako. Unaogopa kukaa ndani kwa sababu unaambiwa huo mtaa uko na majini. Huo mtaa uko na mapepo. Ah, meko taliba rangi ya taba ya kalaba. Stop being a warrior, but you are supposed to be a warrior. In the name of Jesus, I am talking to you, my father. I am talking to you, my mother. I am talking to you, my brother. I am talking to you, my sister. I am talking to you, my daughter. I am talking to you, my son. I am talking to you, my brother, brethren. I am talking to you. I am talking to you in Jesus' name. Consume this gospel. It is good for your immunity in Jesus' name. So kama Gideoni alibadilishiwa destiny yake kama Gideoni alibadilishiwa maisha yake na Mungu kama Gideoni alibadilishiwa future yake na Mungu so it could be also possible with you it is possible with you god he is god of order he is god who is loving he is god who is near and that is why kitabu cha peter second peter chapter 3 verse 9 maandiko anasema Mungu anakuwa mpole ili kila mmoja apate kuokolewa. Haleluya. Kila mmoja apate kuokolewa ili aingie katika ufalme wa mbinguni. Hapo miaka ya nyuma, miaka ya nyuma hapo Hapo miaka ya nyuma nilikuwa mimi sijui mambo ya Mungu. Lakini Luka mina I am being used by God to tell you of his goodness. Natumika kama ushuhuda ulio hai ni kuelezea mema ya Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So jua kwamba inawezekana kwa Mungu it is possible. Ni Mungu asiyeshindwa, ni Mungu mwenye nguvu na uwezo. Pengine unajiona wewe ni duni, pengine unajiona hakuna kitu kizuri kinachoweza kutoka kwako. Lakini nimetumwa na Yesu ni kuambie inawezekana. Hata kama unaona umefika mwisho, anaweza kugeuza na ikawa mwanzo. I am talking to somebody mwenye ako ICU. I am talking to somebody ambaye hana makao. I am talking to somebody ambaye hana mbele wala nyuma. I am talking to somebody ambaye amepoteza tumaini. I am talking to somebody ambaye amekuwa betrayed. I am talking to somebody ambaye amepoteza tumaini lake. I am talking to somebody ambaye anataka kukomit suicide. I am talking to somebody ambaye ame give up at all. I am talking to somebody ambaye amepoteza kabisa tumaini. I am talking to somebody ambaye anasema for better for us it is not working i am talking to somebody ambaye hakuna kitu kizuri anachokiona ndani yake this is the word of god the book of luke chapter 1 verse 37 the bible says there is nothing impossible to god and this gospel is ministering to you just believe in the power of god believe in the power of jesus believe in his grace and you will be saved not only you will be saved but also Jesus will provide for you and that is why nikasema ukimpokea Yesu Yesu huwa anakupokeza ideas Jesus gives you ideas on how to improve now you are living your living standards will change will start to automatically will automatically stand, start to change to change to change as you rise as you rise hallelujah Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kila changamoto katika maisha ya Mkristo ni kwa ajili ya kumpeleka kiwango kingine. Kila jaribu katika maisha ya Mkristo ni kwa ajili ya kumpeleka kiwango kingine. So usiogope wakati unaona changamoto zimekuzidia. Mshukuru Mungu mwambie baba, hiyo next level bila shaka ni kubwa ndio maana changamoto zimekuwa mzito. Baba, hiyo next level najua utukufu ni mkuu kuliko huu wa kwanza kwa sababu haya ninayoyapitia sasa hii ni kwa ajili ya ushuhuda wa kesho. That is supposed to be your prayer. Bwana Yesu You're not supposed to give up. You're not supposed to give to, to lose hope. You're supposed to stand firm and stay strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. Wewe ni shujaa. Ushujaa wako uko katika Bwana. Bwana wa majeshi. Hallelujah. Na hii ndio inamaanisha ukiwa jeshi katika Bwana. Hallelujah. Naomba tuweze kusoma uh, kitabu 
kitabu cha Timotheo wa pili moja saba. Second Timothy Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 Ushujaa wako katika Bwana unatakiwa ubebe hii siri kubwa. Maana Mungu hakutupa roho ya uoga bali ya nguvu na ya upendo na ya moyo wa kiasi. Praise God. Maana Mungu hakutupa roho ya uoga bali ya nguvu na ya upendo na ya moyo wa kiasi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mungu hajatupea roho ya uoga Gideon alikuwa ni muoga mpaka sasa akaamua afiche chakula. Ilikuwa ni desturi yao. They were ruled in that man. But when he started to be courageous, when he started to believe in, in the ability of God in him, when he decided to allow God to walk together with him, that is where the possibilities of God were proven through a man, were manifested through a man. Hallelujah. Si ajabu calamities disasters sicknesses trials tribulations we wewe ndo utatumika na Mungu ili uweze kuzituliza haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe it is this way yeah? wakati ambapo erode alikuwa anataka kumuua yesu ni wakati ambapo shetani kupitia ile darubini yake alikuja akaangalia future yao ya mtu akaona huyu ni mtu ambaye atakuja anyoshe mkono mawimbi ya tulie bwana yesu asifi jina la bwana liboyesi so this means hiyo changamoto unayopigana nayo it could be the devil ameshachungulia kesho yako anataka kukurui na anataka kukudestroy ili sasa kesho usifikie yale yale malengo yako but i am here to tell you stay strong stand firm in the lord god will make a way God will make a way. God will make a way. God will make a way. He is never late. Hachelewi wala hakawi. Yeye huja kwa muda wake mwafaka. Yeye huja kwa muda wake mwafaka. Alikuwa na sababu kwa nini Yusufu afungwe kwa gereza miaka mitatu au zaidi au ikiwa imepungua. Ili akishamweka katika ile mamlaka asichezee mamlaka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, kila kitu kina sababu katika maisha. Ichi kilio ambacho unakilia na kwanza futa hayo machozi katika jina la Yesu. Iko kilio ambacho unalia kina maana kesho. Huo ugonjwa ambao unaupitia uko na maana kubwa kesho. So Gideon anamuuliza malaika wa Mungu, yako wapi? Yuko wapi huyu Mungu ambaye tumekuwa tukisifiwa na mababu zetu? Haleluya. Yuko wapi? Paka sisi tunaficha chakula chetu, jasho yetu tunaificha. Yuko wapi? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Najua hapo ulipo pengine unauliza Mungu yuko wapi kama mambo yamekuwa magumu namna hii. Huyu Mungu yuko wapi kama changamoto zimezidi namna hii. Huyu Mungu yuko wapi kama mateso yamezidi namna hii. Haya makali ya maumivu yamezidi namna hii. Si ajabu uko katika uko, uko kitandani ujiwezi si ajabu hata kupata ujumbe huu na kuwa ngumu so unajiuliza tu Mungu yuko wapi haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe the moment gideon believed god in his heart because huyu bwana ndo amwamini Mungu alifanya mambo uh, na ukiendelea kusoma hayo maandiko utapata kuona alifika kiwango akamwambia Mungu baba kama wewe Mungu wa Israeli uliyetembea na mababu zangu wewe ndo unajitukuza sasa hivi hii ngozi nikiiweka hapa usiku hapo kote paloe maji lakini ngozi isiloe chochote Mungu akafanya hivi akakaa akaona lakini ngoja kidogo kama basi ni wewe tena ni wewe tena nataka sasa kote ndo pa kote ndo pa siloe maji lakini ngozi ndo iloe maji Mungu akafanya hivi <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe so what i'm telling you is that God is very powerful ashindwi na kitu he is time his time is the best this, this I, I don't want to call him this man he is not man he is not ordinary he is extraordinary bwana yesu asifiwe so this amazing eternal creator of ours anajua jinsi ya kucontrol majira anajua jinsi ya kucontrol muda ni mungu wa maajabu yani ashindwe na chochote so you are supposed to believe in god Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
and you are not supposed to be a warrior but you are supposed to be a warrior hallelujah you are not supposed to be a warrior but you are supposed to be a warrior bwana yesu asifiwe jina la bwana lipewe sifa so now katika ujasiri huo sasa ni kitu kipi kitatupatia sasa ushindi so paul talk about it Paulo akaongelelea sasa kuhusu vigezo ambazo vitatupatia ushindi. Na naomba nimalizie navyo as I'm clearing at this speech in Jesus name. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 to 18. The book of Ephesians 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 chapter 6 verse 11 to 18. Maandiko yanasema hivi. Vaeni silaha zote za Mungu. Haleluya. Mpate kuweza kuzipinga hila za shetani. Kwa maana kushindana kwetu sisi si juu ya damu na nyama, bali ni juu ya falme na mamlaka, juu ya wakuu wa giza hili, juu ya majeshi ya pepo wabaya katika ulimwengu wa roho. Kwa sababu hiyo, tuwaeni silaha zote za Mungu mpate kuweza kushindana siku ya uovu. Na mkiisha kuyatimiza yote kusimama, basi simameni hali mmejifunga kweli viunoni na kuvaa diri ya haki kifuani na kufungiwa miguu utayari tu, utayari tupatao kwa injili ya amani zaidi ya yote mkitoa ngao ya imani ambayo kwa hiyo mtaweza kuizima mishale yote yenye moto ya yule mwovu tena ipokeni chapeo ya wokovu na upanga wa roho ambao ni neno la Mungu kwa sala zote na maombi mkisali kila wakati katika roho mkikesha kwa jambo hilo na kudumu katika kuombea watakatifu wote Bwana Yesu asifiwe So this is how we are supposed to fight our battles So wewe ni shujaa katika ulimwengu wa roho kwa kuvalia silaha zote za Mungu na kwa kumwamini Mungu anayekupeleka na kwa kuamini ya kwamba Mungu anaweza kukupatia mwanzo mpya wa baraka. Kuamini kwamba Mungu anaweza kuvunja kila anga inayonena kinyume na maisha yako. Kuamini kwamba Mungu anaweza kuharibu kila uharibifu unaokutafuna. Kila uharibifu unaweza tafuna afya yako, anaweza kuusambaratisha kuanzia dakika hii. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Siku yako imefika ya wewe kufanyika kuwa shujaa. So you are supposed to stand firm, you are supposed to stay strong in the Lord. You are supposed to be courageous in God because we are not being given the spirit of fear and timidity, but we are being given the spirit of power. Tumepatiwa roho wa nguvu na uwezo na mamlaka. Walk in that authority. I pray to God that he establish his authority in your heart and you start to believe in him total believing in jesus is the assurance of victory in any battle in every temptation in every trial total believing in jesus is the assurance of victory in every circumstance in every challenge in every situation in jesus mighty name So receive this grace in the name of Jesus. Pokea kusimama kama uko kitandani, pokea uponyaji kama umelemewa, pokea kusimama katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kipofu pokea kuona, kiziwi pokea kusikia, bubu pokea kunena katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Pokea kusimamishwa, pokea kuimarishiwa maisha yako na Yesu, pokea kupiganiwa vita yako. Pokea kusimamishwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kila anga inayonena kinyume na wewe katika ulimwengu wa roho, kila jeshi lililofanya vita na wewe, linalozidi kufanya vita na wewe, liloweka viapo kwamba hautatoboa, ninaliharibu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kila anga inayokuzuia wewe kupenya na kuona utukufu wa Mungu, ninaikamata na kuiharibu na kuidestroy by the blood of Jesus kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo 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 inenayo mema katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni shujaa katika bwana wewe ni shujaa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo simama si muda wa wewe kulia ni muda wa wewe kusimama kujitwika godoro lako na kuchukua hatua ya imani mtu asiye na imani hawezi kumpendeza Mungu ni lazima uwe na imani ya kuchukua godoro lako na kusimama. Gideon alipomwamini Mungu 
aliyotumika kuyafanya yalikuwa ni makubwa. Kwa hiyo hata wewe ukamwamini Mungu atakupatia silaha zake na utasimama na utafanya makubwa kwa ajili ya utukufu wa jina la Mungu wa ishi. Kwa ajili ya jina la Yesu Kristo utapasua miamba, utaharibu falme, utateketeza ngome, mamlaka ile aliyompea Jeremia itakuwa juu yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God bless you. Shalom. Jina langu ni Prophet Jeremiah Mwisaka. If you are blessed, then share this good message also for it to be a blessing to other nations in Jesus mighty name. Shalom. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nimeshukuru sana kwa wewe kupokea injili hii. Nimeshukuru sana kwa wewe kubarikiwa na neno hili. Na Mungu akutendee mema popote pale ulipo. Ile hali uliyokuwa nayo imeshakuachilia sasa. Ule ugonjwa uliokuwa unakutesa umeshakuachilia sasa. Nimeshukuru Mungu mpatie Yesu zawadi ya maisha yako. Mtumikie Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Vile vile pia naomba ni kualike ukapate kuwa part of us. Be part of this ministry. You can be part of this ministry by partnership to by partnership together with us. By partnership partnership together with us. And this is how you partnership together with us. You can pray for uh, you can pray for this ministry to stay strong and to stand firm. You can also stand with us financially. Praise God. We need this gospel to reach to reach many many souls in different countries. Praise God. And you can be part of this ministry by helping us to reach unto other souls by only contributing what God has blessed you and what God has touched your heart to bless or to give to this ministry. So you can just use those numbers downline the screen. Also, you can contact us if you have a prayer request. We can pray together in the name of Jesus. Okay? God bless you. Naomba ni ruhusu ni ruhusu nitumie Kiswahili. Unaweza ukasimama pamoja na huduma hii ambayo Mungu ametupatia. As you know, ni huduma ambayo tunajitahidi sana kufikisha neno la Mungu katika mataifa. Kwa hiyo si ngumu ama haitakuwa ngumu au haitakuwa vibaya kwa wewe kusimama pamoja na huduma hii. Na vile vile amtoleae Mungu anafanya jambo la baraka. Unaweza ukamtolea Mungu fungu lako la kumi. Unaweza ukamtolea Mungu your sacrifice if you have a request you can offer your sacrifice that is a special sacrifice now because uh, unaitoa kwa ajili ya hoja fulani so unaitoa then unatuma ujumbe kwa ajili ya hiyo hoja and we pray together and i believe also hata ule muda tunapoomba your sacrifice is also counted worthy vile vile you can send us your prayer request you can feel free to contact us we are also available in whatsapp So feel free to contact us and God bless you. Mungu akubariki sana katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Shalom. This is Authority Keys Altar. Na Mungu akutendee mema. Amen.